Hey guys, Mark here back with another quick design video and in today's video I want to talk about drawing the letter S in Adobe Illustrator. I think when you're using the pen tool and shapes and stuff to create alphabets for fonts and even just custom type and lettering, the letter S is probably the most intimidating, it's probably the hardest one to figure out, especially if you're drawing it with the pen tool. So I want to make a quick video and try and come up with a bunch of different ways that we can draw the letter S in Illustrator really quick without stressing too much. So the first trick that I have for the letter S, I'm just going to grab the ellipse tool in Illustrator and hold down shift and draw a circle. Now the next thing I'm going to do is hold down alt and shift and then click and drag this circle down so I have a duplicate. Uh, for the sake of this video I'm going to make another copy and just move that away. So what I'm going to do here is actually just use the direct selection tool, which is the solid arrow or just A on your keyboard. I'm just going to click on this little segment here and hit delete. And I'm going to click on this segment up here and hit delete. Oops, wrong one. That's the one I wanted there. Okay, so you can see we have a basic S shape happening. It's a little bit awkward, but at least the basic is there. So all I'm going to do now is highlight this whole thing, right click it and hit join. So it joins these two together here. And what I'm going to do is just change the angle of this curve because uh, I think that's part of the reason it looks so awkward. So I'm going to hold down shift and press C to get the tool that lets you modify the anchor point or the anchor point tool. And I'm going to click on this point and just drag it diagonally a bit more out here and that way I get something that looks a little more like a real yes. So that's not too bad, I'll just keep this copy and move that over there real quick. So it's, it's starting to look a bit more normal. I think normally though uh, the middle of this the S here is usually a little bit higher, it's a little bit closer to the top bowl so what I'm going to do is actually just use the direct selection tool again to grab that move it up a tiny bit uh, and then I might just bring in this handle a little bit as well. And that looks just a little bit more natural to me. So again, I'm just going to keep making copies for the sake of the video so that I have these to go back to for the other examples. So another thing you might be wondering is how can I add a little bit of weight to this S, especially in the middle. So one way that we can add some weight to the middle is by simply selecting this S, copying it, and then pasting it in front with Command F or Control F. And then I'm going to use a direct selection tool to grab this point here. Now remember I've got two copies, there's one on top of the other, it just looks like there's one. I'm going to click on this point and just move it up a little bit. And then I'm going to click the copy underneath and I'm going to move that one down a little bit. And already you can see that I'm starting to get a bit of extra weight there, so that's kind of cool. Now I think in most styles of the letter S it's a bit more realistic if the top curve is smaller than the bottom, especially if you're doing a script for example, so let's see if we can do that as well. I'm going to grab these original two circles that I drew just to save some time. Uh, I'm going to make the top one smaller and then just drag the bottom one up a bit. That might be a little bit too small, but anyway. Same thing again now, uh, direct selection tool to click on this little segment here, hit delete, direct selection tool to get this one up here hit delete. So now I have a very different looking S and again I'll highlight them both, right click and join them and then tweak this angle to just look a little bit more natural. Just change this B. Cool, it's not looking too bad, could use a bit of tweaking, but anyway. So cool. Now, one of the good things about using these basic shapes is that if I want to add some weight to this S, I can very easily just bump up the stroke. And I could also highlight it and change the stroke. By the way, if you don't have this a window open, it's just under window and then stroke. Then I'm just going to click the rounded cap because that's kind of cool. And now I have a much softer looking S. Again, this corner is a little awkward, but just see if I can tweak 
that a bit more. Yeah, it's looking a little bit better. Okay, cool. So, so you'll notice that the end point, the start and the end of the S at the moment is kind of at this 90 degree area here. And you might be thinking, well, I kind of want it to be more sort of down this way at a, at a diagonal. And there's a way that I can do that as well. So again, I'm just gonna grab these first two circles and copy them. And I'm going to draw a line with the pen tool at whatever angle I want. Um, I'm gonna grab them all and just center them to make sure it is centered where we want it. Oops. Cool. So now what I'm going to do is uh, select this, e the, uh, sorry, this circle after I zoom in, and then I'm going to hit C on the keyboard, which is going to use the scissor tool. I think of it as the C for cut. Cutting the line is the C tool. So with that selected, uh, sorry, with the circle selected and the scissor tool, I'm just going to click right where these two intersect. And you'll see what it's done is it's added an extra anchor point to my line. What it's actually done is it's cut uh, a gap in this path here. We can't see it just yet, but that's okay. We'll come back to it in a sec. Same thing down the bottom now. I'm going to click this circle, again hit C, and then where they intersect, cut the path. So now what I can do is delete that segment again, and I'll delete this one here. Oops. back up the top now, delete this one and this one. And once I move this line away, we have our ends at a more natural angle. Once I've got the basic S letter form down, there's still plenty of things I can do to customize the, the letter itself. So for example, if I just grab this one again, what I can do is uh, I can bump the stroke way up on this. Let's go with 17. Then I'm gonna highlight this uh, copy it, paste in front, so there's two copies once again. I'm going to drop the stroke right down to say one point and then set it to white. And now, for example, I have a cool sort of inline there as well. Um, another style of S that you might be curious about is like a sort of block lettery, uh, kind of like a digital clock looking S, I guess, is how I would describe it. And I think you can probably create this one pretty easily using squares. So what I would do is create a square or even a rectangle here like so. Then I will duplicate it again, bring it down. Now what I'm going to do is use the direct selection tool to highlight the entire thing. Click on these little circle icons here to just round the edges a little bit. And then after that, I'm going to use the selection tool to delete this segment here. And once again, delete this segment here. Oops, that segment there. So now I've got a kind of basic uh, block letter S as well. And again, I'll pump the stroke up on that one a bit. I can still further customize the angles on this in Illustrator as well, so I can highlight the whole thing again and still adjust those curves to get them looking however I want. And the reason this is uh, looking a bit awkward in the middle is because I haven't joined them. So again, I'll join them. So there you have it guys, there's a few quick and easy ways that you can get started with the letter S in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you found that useful. If there's any other letters or any other styles that you'd like to learn, by all means ask away in the comments and I'll try and make a video for you. If you found this useful, I would massively appreciate a thumbs up and if you would subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much guys.